Welcome my friends to the class style from my house to yours. I'm so psyched today guys to be sharing with you another DIY. So I have this container, this storage container for some years now. Um, it's like a stackable and I had this one day and I have some utensils from the kitchen, some wooden spoons. I have glue, I have a paintbrush and I have my glue gun and I have some white paint here. And guys, I have a piece of cardboard that I'm going to also be using. I did um, split it in half by pulling it apart. And starting off, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to stick a piece of the cardboard on either sides of this. And now guys, this is a recreation inspiration that is inspired by Connie's Creative Creations and six kids and a glue gun. And my inspiration piece is from Mumdas's channel and her channel name is creative diy with Mumdas. oh my gosh Mumdas is such a darling a wonderful friend very crafty with her hands and she is very accomplished in a lot of things so big up to you Mumdas. you are a queen and guys i hope you do enjoy do check out in the description box for all the information provided to connie's and six kids on a glue guns channel and do check out all the rest of the participants so what i'm using for my piece like i said previously is a storage container and i did go in with my white paint and just continue to paint the whole container white so that it's gonna look brighter than it actually was and i'm just painting on on the two sp wooden spoons that i will be using to act as the handles and i'm just giving it one coat because i like to see that wooden effect coming through and um you know it's really gonna make an impact on the piece so I'm just inserting the screws into it. And guys, this is Momdas's piece. And that was her finished piece. And she had some books and such in her piece. So I'm trying to come as close to that as possible. And I know you would let me know what you think in the description box of how everything turned out. I'm just adding some screws. And I'm just... I have a little assistant here, my grandson is here with me, so he's just holding the wood in place while I get it screwed. And this is how it's coming along. I'll just insert it into the piece, and this is it. I am making a caddy, just like Moomdas's own, and secured it with my glue, my, with my glue to the bottom. Now I'm, I used my glue gun, and I also had a impact glue on the the storage um container and i thought that you know it would secure it a lot better so I just hold it in place for a couple of seconds until it was adhered nicely i did go back in and just put some of the glue gun to hold it down really well so guys i hope you haven't been enjoying this so far remember to do like and subscribe and share to my channel um you know, I always love hearing your comments. I have such beautiful friends. And you know, I'm not on YouTube. It's, this is not a money-making thing. I just love doing crafts. I love sharing my knowledge. I do a lot of stuff. I do events. I do... I also do teach. I teach learning and drapery, interior designs, decor. I teach balloon and floral and a lot of other things so you know this is just something relaxing for me to do and share with you and hope that you can learn something from it now guys i have gotten the this metallic pen i did order it from amazon and um, they come in a lot of colors and on moondas's piece had some lovely stripes coming around the center that is why i stuck the cardboard to the center so I'm just using my metallic paint pen and I'm going in on the stripes and I'm coloring that in. This is how it's looking. I think the metallic added a nice look to it and I am so happy of how it turned out. 
Now, my friend, a very dear friend of mine, gave me these photo frames. It's all, all like a cardboard finish. It's a kit. And it has a lot of framing in it. And I, I was so psyched to be using this on this project. But what it also had in the package was some stamps and some labels and stuff. This is it here. So that you could just pull out and use it on your pieces. So I thought it was very handy dandy. So I would not be using anything from this one. But I would be using the frame. So what I'm doing I'll just measure it off. And I'm cutting the frame. Now the framing is going to go on the other side. And like I said this is a reversible caddy. Guys, I can use it on one side for something else and I can use it on the other side for something else. So, so I would just use my glue gun and adhere it to the center of the piece and make sure it's stuck nicely. So I'm doing a framing on this side. So on Moomdas's own, had, she had recipe books in hers. And since mine's is going to be reversible, I'm going to show you two different ways that you can use them. So these are the stencils from on Amazon that I had ordered. I'm just pulling off the oil part of it. And I have another one saying balsamic vinegar. And I'm just also going to pull that off and just adhere it to the piece. And I think it's such a cute idea, guys. And it's going to look really lovely on my kitchen counter and i hope you are enjoying this and do remember to head across to Mumdas's channel now this is how it's looking it, i think it's turned out pretty awesome and this is the reversible side so i'm going to show you that i can, you can use it for your books your recipe books and such Mumdas had books in his and also i can use it for my oil and my vinegar and i did Add a little suck, a little planted. This is in a water bottle. Um, it, this plant thrives in water, also in soil, and it has my oil, like I said, and the vinegar in it. So, guys, tell me what you think in the description box below, and let me know how you thought this recreation turned out. And I am so grateful and thankful for Connie and six kids and a glue gun for sharing with us their lovely ideas that they also came up with i hope you head across to all their channels and do like and subscribe to their channel and thanks once again and i'll see you soon bye now catch you later bye guys